so I've been getting, um, I've gotten a few comments um, from an individual who, uh, who's basically asked me multiple times, like, why I use certain words, certain phrases, you know, use certain terminology to explain what I'm saying. Like, how do I know it's not all made up, it's not all fake, it's not all, like, where am I getting this information from? And the truth is, I believe that I'm being led down a path. I believe it is a path that I have gone down before. I believe it is a path that was tailored for me. I believe that no matter what happens in my life, I will still be drawn to that path. It is the path that has been laid before me. It's the path that I'm supposed to walk. And I also believe that we're a part of one of the greatest stories in existence, in the cosmos, however you want to quantify that, when I say the cosmos, right? And I believe that, A, okay, so I just want to put this to bed right now, because, I mean, like, I'm kind of getting tired of, like, answering it. A, I believe that the people in charge, uh, those running the show, I believe that, A, they are not allowed to do what they do without first telling us what they are doing. They have to, they have to let us know what is going on. I don't care if it is uh, fictional. I don't care if it is whatever. They've gotten really good at finding loopholes around that. Like, I feel like that's how this matrix, and I'm using the term matrix because... Like, if you look up the term Matrix, I'm not talking about the movie in itself. I'm talking about whatever we are confined into. Whatever this is. Because I don't know what this is exactly. If it's a realm, if it's a... I just know that we are confined to this place. I use the term Matrix from time to time. If that offends certain people, I'm sorry. It's just what I use. It's like you'll hear me use realm other in other things. Okay, back to what I was saying. I believe that... The people in charge have to let us know what um, what they're doing. You get what I'm saying? Like they have to let us know what's happening. That's like a. I wonder if that's picking up on the camera. I saw a bunch of geese flying in a really cool formation. They have to let us know what they're doing. That's how this whole uh, system of oppression works. That's information that I've been given. That's information that I believe. Okay. And I've, and I've seen too much to strengthen that argument, in my own opinion, okay? Now, um, they have to let us know what's what. But I also believe, too, that everything that you see, every, there's so much, this inner face, there's so much that we've been uh, told, there's so much that, there's, so, there's a lot that's lot, there are lies, but there's so much that is truth. And there's so much that's just peppered throughout our history, throughout our media, throughout everything. Our lore, mythology, all of that. And the sad thing is, most of it is, is, is confined to things like mythology and, and fiction. But I believe they're all, you're dealing with like breadcrumbs scattered throughout this massive canvas. And that's what has guided me up until now. You know, like... You don't always get a, you're not always going to get a booming voice from the heavens saying, hey, you know, do this. Hey, look this way. That's not how it works. A lot of times you're getting gentle nudges. You're getting things that are, are gently nudging you in certain directions. And it doesn't mean it's negative. It doesn't mean it's bad. There are nudges that point you in the right direction. I know I'm going down the right direction. Yeah, I might be rough around the edges. Yeah, I might have, um... I mean, I have the full 411, but I know I'm going down the right direction. And that is my viewpoint. I can only attest to what I know, to what I believe. Everybody else, you know, either you're down with what I'm saying or you're not. I don't, I don't really care at this point, you know? I know there's a lot of, and there's also, there's a lot of people that I've talked to, that I've spoken to, that I've dealt with who have had eerily similar uh, experiences and situations throughout their lives, and, and most recently, uh, I guess, just the last couple of years. 
crazy how some of our, our, our stuff lines up, how some of our stuff, our, our situations are so similar, you know? But yeah, I mean, I was, I was just reading a, um, looking through a book of art, and it, there were depictions of Eden in the book, and uh, I'm not going to get into details of what I saw in the painting, but it's something I've seen in real life before. And it had to do with, you know, God's presence within the parameters of the garden. But I've seen that in real life. And that was in a painting by a medieval artist. So it's like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you can't just like, oh, I don't want, I don't, I, I'm chucking all that. No, it's all there. You get what I'm saying? It's all there. The entire story is laid out before you. It's never going to be in one exact place. You have to listen to your intuition. You have to listen to God, that higher power, as it guides you where you need to go. And you start to stitch the pieces together. These pieces are everywhere. They are not in just one place. Never believe they're in one place, because they're not. They're everywhere. And that's part of like why these jerks um, feel so secure. Because like they know nobody, a lot of people aren't going to go looking that in depthly, or they're going to go, they're not going to go, they're not going to go take that journey to, 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 you know, they're not going to go across wherever they need to go to find these little pieces, these little, these little, you know, individual little <laughs> puzzle pieces. They're scattered everywhere, but they are there. You might see stuff in movies, you might see stuff in a comic book, you might hear something in a song. But it's part of the truth. The truth is everywhere. The truth is everywhere. The truth is everywhere. Alright, folks. That's my rant. Take it easy.